Okay, that's the PS3, Xbox 360, both connected through HDMI to my Vizio. And they're both connected into the switch, which runs all the way to the living room where it connects to my gigabit router and modem. Um, I have a pretty beefy connection, 16 meg down, 2 meg up. It's a pretty good connection. All right, um, let's actually start off with a Xbox 360. Oh, that's one thing I've noticed on the Xbox 360. You'll see. It depends on. Oh. Sometimes it actually it won't actually display the CD, or actually won't completely turn on unless something else is connected on the other side. Like if you just have an HDMI connected to nothing, it won't actually turn on, which is actually pretty cool because to stop from like someone just pressing the Xbox 360 button and turning it on without you noticing it. Here's the menu, very slick, Netflix. Uh, I have a play on. Uh, where is my video? There it is, video. I have a play on server running on the computer that's in my living room, so you'll see it right here. Play on. Uh, if you don't know what this is, this is how you get Hulu on an Xbox 360. Hulu. It's very nice. Uh, got a TV episodes. TV episodes. One of my favorite shows right now is uh, Hell's Kitchen. Season 4, Episode 1. Let's go all the way down. It tells you down there how many there is. All the way down to where it says 38, 37, 38. Season 6, Episode 8, which actually just occurred. Well, right now it's Thursday. It occurred two days ago. I already saw this episode. Hit play. This is actually really interesting, though. Um, one thing that interests me about Play On was I had a previous problem with the Xbox 360. Like I said in my last video, I have two Xbox 360s, and when you link your ex your Netflix account with one Xbox 360, it deactivates it from the other Xbox 360. So let's say you had two Xbox 360s that you wanted to use with a Netflix. Well, one way you can get around that is use the native support that's in the actual Xbox 360 and for the other Xbox 360 or the PS3 like let's say you wanted to view your Netflix movies on an Xbox 360 and then you wanted to view it on an Xbox 360 or a PS3 or my PS3 Slam I could do that I would use the, net, the Netflix that's built into the Xbox 360 the and then use Play On to view the Netflix on the other device whether it be the, Xbox, the other Xbox 360 the PS3 or the PS3 Slam Pretty clean. Now, let me go to Netflix. Now, uh, those are episodes. Looks really clean. Uh, also, Food Network, this is an unofficial plugin. So, you have to install it. It's really easy, though. Ace of Cakes. I like that show. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, one thing, though, I, w I would like to comment on is uh, Play On doesn't support HD. So, if you have a Netflix account, uh, yeah, just warning there. It doesn't support HD on the Play On. Now, the built-in native app that's on the actual Xbox 360, the Netflix uh, plugin that they have in there, uh, that one does support HD, just not the Play On. Uh, as you can see, my PS3 original is down there. Uh, I didn't hook it up because it's, it's the exact same idea as the PS3 slime that I'll be showing you. Uh, what's a new one? This one just came out for Blu-ray. It'll determine the speed right now. High quality. Some of them get a, some of them actually appear in HD. This one didn't. Let me see if I can find one that's in HD. Let's go back. I remember one being in HD. I don't think I have any of them. Oh, you know what? Man versus food. I think that one's in HD. This is, a season. this is obviously a season. Has all the episodes in there. Go to play. I think this was an HD. Yeah, there you go. HD, right there. See how it supports it? Uh, if you were to use the play on, uh, you wouldn't be able to choose HD. Loads. 
Remember, it's a 16 by 2. I'm at Eagles Deli in Boston, Massachusetts, about to take on a native Boston. Very cool. Now I love the Xbox 360 just from the menus itself, the native uh, Netflix uh, ability that's, or support, whatever you want to call it, app, plug-in, whatever. Look how clean that looks. I just love that. Alright, I'm going to turn off the Xbox 360 now. Alright, I'm going to get my Dual Shock that came with a PS3 Slim, and I'm going to switch to that now. Uh, pop yeah, if you're wondering why it says HDMI 1 popcorn, I used to have a. Well, I mean, I, I just sold my popcorn hour A110, and, I'm wi and I just ordered the new C200. And that's actually what I use for my movies. I no longer buy Blu ray. There's no need for that. Alright, let's go here. Go to Play On. Alright, see there's Netflix. It's really hard to see. Netflix. Okay, there, I, I don't know if you can read that. It says Instant Q. It says Top uh, Q Top 50. Alright, same thing. I'm going to go to Man versus Food Season 1. And I forgot which episode I chose over there. I'll choose Boston. This takes a little bit longer then. You don't get the cool little graph of loading. Oh wow, that's the first time I've ever seen that. Huh. That is funny, maybe one of them did not or the Xbox 360 didn't end the session. That is really crazy. I've never seen that. Huh. Well, I failed. <laughs> Alright, then we'll go to something else. Hulu. Oops. Hulu. Same thing, we'll go to TV episodes. If you notice, TV episodes actually on this one on the top, which it's not supposed to look. Xbox 360 actually puts it alphabetical, that's why it was all the way in the bottom. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Hell's Kitchen. There. It's really hard to see, I'm sorry. Uh, look, it also did... <laughs> it's actually pretty good for the PS3. It actually put the newest episode on top instead of me scrolling all the way down like Xbox 360. Like I said, Xbox 360 puts them in alphabetical order. So I put the old season on there. Or the old season on top. Which the oldest season uh, Hulu has is... um. Season 4. The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption. And this is the previous one. This is Play On, so you already saw how Play On worked on the other one. Uh, this is one thing I don't like about the PS3, though. This really simple menu. It's really annoying. Really annoying. It does have a browser, which I hardly ever use. I have a laptop and pocket PC phone for that. Uh, it also plays DivX and Exit support. It's a funny video. George Lopez, Tall Dark in Chicano. Uh, I have a... On the other computer, running the Play On is actually a Vista Ultimate. So it has the... What is that thing called? The Media Extender in it. I'll be able, I can share videos from the other one over here. I named my computer and my laptop the same, so if I chose a laptop by accident, which I did. Alright, there you go. This one should be it. Video. All video. Kind of annoying. What else we got in here? Supported data. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. And that's PS3. Let me actually try one more time to see if I can get that Netflix to work. Instant Q. Actually, let me go to New Arrivals. It's just going to give me like a couple folders with a couple letters in them. Oh, new movies to watch instantly. Oh, and I'm actually out of time, so I guess we'll just leave it at that. Uh, thank you for viewing my videos, and subscribe.